Alex Arnold is the baddest dude on the planet. Baddest dude on the planet. That's undisputable. You cannot, you cannot argue that. You know, nobody can deny that. I mean, if you're not familiar with who this guy is, look up his videos on YouTube. There's there's several of them. Solo climber, free solo climber. You know, climbs rock walls without ropes. And makes it look easy, you know. And I can't even, I can't even fathom the thought of climbing these steep pitches without ropes. I can't even fathom doing it myself with ropes, you know. So watching it and understanding that he's doing this without ropes, and one one move is the end for him. You know what I mean? Most of us, if we have an off day at work. You know, we'll still have our job the next day. This guy, he has a bad day at his office, you know, on the wall. He has a bad day. He's not living to tell about it. You know what I mean? So there's no room for error for him. While the rest of us, there's a little room for error, you know. Uh, we can have off days. He can. But when you watch these videos, I mean, even when in the middle of a climb, he'll be so composed, so relaxed. Man, it's just... It's beautiful to see because, like, holy cow, man, like, 99.9% .9 of us would be shit in our pants. We'd be crying. We'd be freaking out. You know what I mean? Um, you know, no ropes. You're up on a rock wall. It's windy. It's probably cold. You feel the fatigue in your legs and your hands. And the guy's just able to stay calm. Calm as hell in the face of that chaos, that mayhem. How can you not admire the guy? I mean, I just have so much admiration for the guy. I mean, I've been watching some of his stuff lately, and it's just unbelievable to watch. Um, and it's really inspiring because he just makes you realize that, um, you know, it's important to do what you love, and um, it's important to push yourself, you know, and to walk that fine line between success and disaster. You know, and life is short, you know, so... It's, it's inspiring because we really do need to live like that, you guys. We need to live as though every day is our last, you know, because life is short. Um, you know, and, and he's one of these guys who, like, he doesn't care about money. I read that he lives on, like, less than $1,000 a month, you know, you know, and he's able to just travel and climb. He doesn't have to do anything else. You know, obviously, he's picked up some sponsors now, so he's probably living a little more comfortably uh, financially there was a long time where, um, you know, he was just living bare bottom, you know, just getting by on peanuts, poverty level. Um, and he, he lives in his own van that he's turned into like a little camper. Um, you know, just a minimalist, you know, through and through a minimalist. And, um, he doesn't care about money, you know? And I feel like we live in a world that's just obsessed and swept up in the belief that you need as much money as possible. And if you don't have a certain amount of money, then you're a failure, you know? You need more money um, so you can get stuff, more stuff, right? Better stuff. Because that's what, you know, everybody's convinced of, you know? You know? Money, money, money. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Money, money, money. It's all about the money. It's not. And he, uh, you know, he's a perfect example of, um, you know, somebody who, hasn't bought into that belief and he just lives the way he lives he loves what he does and uh he's the best he's the best in the damn world at what he does he does um but i should mention there aren't too many people you know that provide competition for the guy because i mean he's that badass you know but um just his entire approach and he's super humble he always undermines his accomplishments you know he doesn't stop to smell the roses um, he pretty much sprints through the flower garden, you know, and, um, you know, we'll probably look back on his, on his accomplishments later in life, you know, but, you know, um, and he's just one of these guys that's kind of like, okay, you know, what you see is what you get, you know, yeah, I did it, but, you know, hey, don't think I'm special, you know, I'm just a normal guy who loves doing this and has been doing this for a long time, um, there's just a lot of things, a lot of reasons to, uh, admire the guy, just the way he carries himself, um, it's just, it's something. It's something special, and I just, man, I got a lot of respect for the guy.